a pink satin pajama set with a black lace detail be sure to like comment and subscribe also turn on the notification bell because this video is just the tank top of the pajama set and then i will be posting the shorts next week also be sure to follow my socials instagram and tiktok at serena's boutique and i post the pictures on instagram first before i post the youtube videos and this video is a very tutorial style video so you should follow along pretty well so i'm excited to show you at the front pattern the back pattern the front lining pattern and the back lining pattern now i'm ready to cut out on fabric so you're gonna see me use the tape measure and what i'm doing is making sure that bias grain line is parallel to the salvage edge and making sure it is exactly the same on both ends and now i'm just pinning it in place As I was doing this, my back was hurting really bad. Um, hunching over the floor is not it. I definitely don't recommend, but I got back up all as well. But I want to invest in a sewing table that is wide enough and long enough for fabric so I can cut and pin on that. <laughs> marking out where the dart hits on the apex on both sides of the panel and I am going to sketch out a straight line from the dart leg notches that I cut out um, on the edges and then the middle um, line that separates the two that you would fold on to create the dart. Now I'm creating a zigzag stitch with my serger foot all the way around the panels. I like to do this beforehand, not after. I just find it easier so you don't have to work around the seams. The first thing I do is match up those darts to get them pinned. I match up the lines I created beforehand. After the darts are taken care of, I move on to pinning the side seam of the front and back in place. I also pinned and sewed the side seams of the linings together. Now I moved on to pinning in half the straps and pressing them down. I also want to mention that after I sewed these, I used a safety pin to turn the strap inside out, which is the right side. I'm pinning the lining panels to the front and back panel of the shirt, right sides together, all the way around. While I'm sewing this, you can see I'm skipping the notches I created to tell me where the straps are going to go in the back because I want to make sure I can adjust that before I put the straps in and then I also skip where the straps are going to go inside the triangle pointy part uh, yeah no don't do that go ahead and sew the straps on in that triangle area it's more efficient but you can do it after like I did um, which I'm showing you right now of how I'm sewing that strap in place in the front I went ahead and understitched the front part before I understitch the back but I did that after but make sure when you understitch the front part you go into that seam allowance of that like curved area of the neckline and cut little notches because it's gonna lay flatter and you're gonna be happier <laughs> Now I'm ready to hem the shirt and what I did is use paper clips instead of pins because I knew pins was going to leave these really noticeable line of holes. So I just used paper clips to clip it in place. You can use actual fabric clips but I didn't have those so here I am. You've seen you know, what I got. <laughs> 
So you could stop there, but I decided to add a lace detail to the top of the tank top. And what I'm doing right now is pinning it in place so I can see where those darts um, fall to create that triangular shape. After I sewed the darts down, I cut the dart off so it's not a bulky seam allowance. Now that I have achieved the triangular shape, I am pinning it in place once again to prepare to sew it in place. To help keep the lace from flipping downward, I tacked it down to the front and back straps. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you were able to follow along pretty well. I had a really fun time making this pajama set. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell because again, I will be posting these shorts next week. Stay tuned for that. And follow my socials at Serena's Boutique, Instagram, and TikTok. Watch my last video where I made my junior prom dress. It was beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I had a really fun time. I hope you were able to follow along.